the uh, second half, Nacho Novo, his replacement. Fulkirk, uh, not surprisingly, electing to go with the same 11, but some of you might think it's slightly curious that uh, the top scorer is withdrawn. Let's cast a bit of light on that with David Tanner. Billy was one of the last players up the tunnel at half-time, and Chris Boyd complained to the Rangers fitness coach, and I quote, it's too hot to play football out there. To be fair, the last reading from the thermometer on the pitch read 37.5 degrees. It's hot out there, Bill. Thanks, David. Well, let's hope that uh, he's the only one who feels like that, otherwise <laughs> the final might be somewhat truncated. So Chris Boyd withdrawn, Nacho Novo, the Spaniard, he's been in Scotland for a few years, perhaps more accustomed to those stifling temperatures, we shall see. Certainly Rangers need some sort of injection in this second half of urgency if they are to uh, start making more of an impact in this cup final. On the plus side, though, Falkirk, despite their superiority in the first half, in terms of play and possession, you'd have to say, weren't able to trouble the goalkeeper. And like Novo! Well, that is what you call an impact! Under 30 seconds of the second half played, and Nacho Novo does that! An absolute stunner! Well, that's the only one word to describe it, Bill. Absolutely stunning. He just loses Scott Arfield here. Scott Arfield ended up wrong side, and Novo's got the time to allow it to drop to a nice height. And Marlow is absolutely helpless. I wouldn't blame the goalkeeper. I don't think he's out of position. He's slightly towards his front post, as you'd expect. And that is just about unsavable. A wonderful effort from the substitute. And not for the first time, Nacho Novo has bailed Rangers out.